The Environmental Protection Agency is strengthening its limit on fine particle pollution, also known as soot, which comes from fossil fuels, factories, agriculture, and wildfires. It's one of the most widespread deadly air pollutants linked to heart attack and asthma. Supporters hope this move will provide relief to 2 million asthmatics in California, including April Love and her eldest daughter. It's been a roller coaster. Just up and down. It's, it seems like one minute is better than the next. It seems like it's getting worse and more and more medication. Love lives in San Joaquin County, an area that has the second highest concentration of asthmatics in the state, according to the Department of Public Health, with some of the worst air quality being in South Stockton. This is home. I've, I've been here all my life and I was told by doctors that the older and older that I get, I won't be able to live in San Joaquin County due to the high pollution. Unfortunately, we have to almost agree with them and say, yes, this is not a great place for, for you, be precisely because of the air pollution. Dr. Subramanian says patients ask him all the time if they should move. There is an explosion of asthma. For folks that move to San Joaquin Valley, he says within two years, they will most likely become asthmatic. He says air pollution is not only costly for the state, but for patients as well. The cost of inhalers in this country is atrocious. Uh, some of, you know, the, typically these inhalers retail for five to six hundred dollars and even with insurance, with the best of insurances, a lot of these patients are paying two to three hundred dollars a month. I don't have that. I can't afford that. It's why April is in the Dawn program, decreasing asthma within neighborhoods out of the Little Manila Rising Center, providing resources like air purifiers, helping people assess their living situations for greater success. I would never have thought that the air quality was great like vastly different between North and South Stockton. The organization agrees the new EPA standard is a step in the right direction. The Clean Air Coalition says people of color and lower income have been disproportionately impacted by pollution from smokestacks, factories, and living near freeways for decades. And historically bearing the brunt of the bad health consequences of air pollution. And often this is a result of decades of discrimination that have put these less desirable land uses into particular neighborhoods that are primarily populated by people of color and low income folks. The coalition says to meet the new standards, power plants and large factories will need to be cleaned up. Transportation that relies on diesel is one of the biggest offenders. They're pushing for more clean air vehicles.